I'm Virginie Ropas, I'm from France, from Brittany, and uh, I'm a sculptor. I do mixed media, polymer clay sculpture, mainly polymer, and I'm in Spectrum since a few years now, and I really much enjoy the whole Spectrum, the book and the, uh, the Spectrum of Life. Actually, the books are very are very much um, well done in, in the sense that it's really the best of what you receive that you have in the book. I can see that now. Sometimes from outside uh, it's not clear and when you open the book you say well it's it's always the you know you have this thing that comes every year the people and but actually I think it's the um, by viewing all the entries, it's uh, it's you pick up the the, the best things you you receive. So um, I was very curious uh, to that. Very interesting to see this wide range of work and and how the people get influ influenced each other and all the the movements and uh, the different branches of you know fantastic art. So. Uh, it's very, very, very agreeable. A lot of friends, they told me, well, you should try Spectrum, you should try Spectrum. And, uh, well, one year I tried, I sent, I think it's what, it was four or five works and they all get in. So I was, you know, very happy. And also, I think I knew, you know, somewhere in me that I had something to say in this field and by making what I'm doing now. So um, I thought it was, well, just like a confirmation that it was, you know, something that I could actually do and and that in some way I was right, some, you know. So um, it pushed me to, to go on and make another one and another one. And so for me Spectrum was like that, the first one. And the award is just, you know, it's just wonderful, you know. Like you, know, it's a you know, to be recognized by some of your peers is just priceless, you know. It's a really, really beautiful thing. So, uh, and Spectrum is a is a is a great support when you get in, and uh, and not once you have to be. One Spectrum is not enough. So uh, that's what I tell to my friends in France. You know, to be in once is just not enough. You get to submit every year and and be present present somewhere to have your presence in. because it's a reference in a way spectrum so um, to be there it's very important I think I've been always making things with my hands it was drawing first when I was a girl but I used to make uh, my the clothing of my dolls. I have a degree in, in graphic arts and it led me to um, video games. It was all virtual and uh, on my spare times I was still making things, jewelry, leather works. After that I lost my job uh, because of the, the crack in 2002. 2001. I wanted to make something with my hands, be back to some more uh, material things and touch material. So I gathered all the things I love into something. It's kind of illustration and painting, but also clothes making, hair dressing, and you know, it's never. You, you never get bored with that, you know, you can, you can always improve things on the sculpture side or painting or else, and the, the better you get, the more complex thing you can, you can do, so it's a it's very, fun, very fun way to work, and I love that very much. You have to be brave sometimes when you have something you really want to do and to to jump to to it onto it and to to work for that and dedicate your life to it. I started with uh, some doll fair for doll fairs in Paris. The the taste French public had for dolls was very um, traditional, I think, and they were not very open to uh, the bizarre, the weird, and the dark things and. So um, I started doing soft 
very soft works because I needed to earn money from that. So, and I was in a process of learning and experimenting things. And once I made something very strange for them, very dark, because I really wanted to do that from the first time. And um, they were very puzzled in front of that. And um, I got on with another one and another one in the same kind of style. And some people that were following me from the, the very first work I've made, I've made and they just stopped, you know, saying, well, the, the, the way you are going with your work, I won't follow you because it's too, too different, too strange, too odd, too dark, too gothic, <laughs> which is, I'm not, I don't, I don't think my work is gothic, but a lot of people in France consider my work as a gothic thing. Also think that in the US, the people, they have the kind of culture and the keys to understand my work instantly. The French, they, in France, it's more complicated. The people, they need to put you in some boxes. Well, you, you're not very, you're not a sculptor because I'm not working with wood or, or bronze or, you know, some noble materials, they say. The sculpture world is kind of close for me. And also the doll world is close to me because it's, it's not doll I'm making. Uh, it's more a sculpture with fabric and stuff. I'm in between things. It's, uh, I like that though because I can do whatever I want, you know. I just don't care about what, what they think about me and what about my work. I have French people, they follow my work, they like it very much. You, you, you go where people kind of love you or appreciate your work. I don't, I don't bother with uh, people who don't care about my work. I don't care about them, so... <laughs> I don't have that. It's not my work to convince them that uh, it was something, so... Um, they are not dark. I think I'm more dealing, even if some, you know, a lot of people don't understand that, especially in France. For me, in my work, I'm more dealing with nature. nature. It's not all black. If you look at close, I think, at my work, you'll see that it, it's... There's part of light a lot in my work. The positive makes sense if there is a if there is dark. So my work is in the middle, and I think it's like nature. It's all it's not good or bad. It's something very um, wild and in the middle and chooses its way. So I'm th I'm probably dealing more with that. And I think it's also the feminine part. It's what they are, you know. They are in between things. And uh, so uh, I'm working with that every day in my work. So uh, this is what I express. So I, I am I connect my work a lot with natural things like insects, um, flowers, nature, even mythology because it's always you know the goddesses and the gods and you know, all the surrounding and the, the wildness of nature. I really much enjoy the 19th century works and uh, I think until the 30s. And also I like uh, the um, in the 19th century or the turn of the century, it's all this community of artists, also writers and music and all those people, they were all together trying to create something. And I like very much when, you know, you can, you can cross the borders of your art to another art and speak with people and meet and, and exchange things. So this is what I like, you know, in the art and craft movement in England or um, all the decadence in Paris in the turn of the century, all the people were fighting together, exchanging, it was very, it was very active and uh, I like that and uh, I would love that if we could be a bit like that today, you know, people fighting for something and other fighting for something else. It makes everything creative. I think the best advice is to try to be yourself. Don't try to um, imitate people. Just find your own, your own way to do things. If it, even if it doesn't fit anywhere, who cares? If it's good, people will, will notice your work. But they probably won't notice it if you are um, just, you know, like a copycat of someone, someone else. So just try your own way and get, you know, improve your techniques and readings and 
go to museums and see some paintings and beautiful stuff. And uh, things you beautiful you see, they should give you energy to go on with your work, not to you know, push you down and say, well, I won't. You know, some people, sometimes when they see beautiful work, they, they get very depressed. And, uh, but when I see this beautiful work, uh, I, um, you know, it's, well, let's go to work, it's wonderful. So <laughs> it pushes you to go, to go further.